track, boy. It was just absolutely ridiculous, and from there, that's when I realized, holy crap! Like this car, they spared no expense. This car is insane. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you have carbon fiber just everywhere. everywhere. Like, yeah, everywhere you could put carbon fiber. Yeah. So fast forward to uh, November of last year, I saw they listed up for sale, and that's when I'm just like, oh man, like never my wildest dreams would I ever expect this car to go up for sale. I was able to work out a good deal for them, and here the car is now in Arizona. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Got some backfire there. So I would like to know a little bit more about, I guess, what's done externally to the car. The car is a uh, custom wide body. It's been painted the volcano orange on McLaren. It's a beautiful color. You know, especially on a car like this, you don't really see it that much. Yeah, it looks good in the sun, right? Mm-hmm. Well, most, I this, in my opinion, I thought it was a wrap at first when I first saw it. Mm -hmm. I realized it was paint. I was like, wow. Yeah. The original color was black. They left the engine bay black, but they painted the entire car from head to toe. Mm -hmm. Even the door jams, all the you know, window moldings, everything has been painted. Yeah. And um, what kind of wheels do you have on the car right now? The car has uh, custom-made HREs. They're the S101s. They're 20 by 11 fronts, 20 by 13 rear. Okay. So it's a pretty big tire in the rear. It's got a 345 um, Michelin Pilot Super Sport. All right really nice tire but not the best for uh, grip yeah good for just cruising and mm -hmm. like the occasional pull here and there do you um, track the car at all uh, I've only done half mile and I've done a little quarter mile uh, the half mile best time so far is 192 okay the quarter mile best time was 10 4 at 140 and that was just you know easing into it pretty much those people who I guess who don't really know a lot about AMS, you know, Alpha 10, Alpha 12, mm -hmm. you kind of want to kind of run through, I guess, the gist of it. I know there's a ton done to the motor, so. Yeah. <laughs> so AMS is just a company based out of Chicago. They specialize a lot in like high-end performance with the GTR platform. Uh -huh. They um, put together packages for people to buy if you want, like an Alpha 6, Alpha 7, Alpha 9, Alpha 10. Alpha 12, Alpha 16, and they even have something called the Alpha Omega. The Omega, the track car, yeah. yeah that's where, like, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's got a parachute on the back. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they have these packages they put together for customers to buy based upon their needs. And uh, a lot of people go with the Alpha 10 and the Alpha 12. It's really good, streetable power. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm driving this. I'm blown away. Yeah. This is so incredibly easy to drive. Exactly. I'm not actually hitting the gas too hard or yeah. just moving like I am in a normal car. Yeah, honestly, it drives just how it did when it rolled out the showroom at Nissan. Yeah, it's amazing. Everything works fine. AC works perfectly. It's uh -huh. good. So AMS had this car for a few years. Mm -hmm. They, um, went back and forth with the guy who built the car and yeah. decided to go with the Alpha 10X. And then the Alpha 10X is just a newer and improved version of the Alpha 10. It's oh, okay. got newer updated turbos. Okay. They spool a lot quicker than the Alpha 10. So yeah, you get, you don't have as much lag. Exactly. What is the, you, what, like, where is the, where does, where do the turbos really come in? I think around the high 3000s. Oh yeah, that, that's 000. really good, yeah. yeah that's good Cause for the, the Cause the car already makes, already has a motor to make good power yep. that you're throwing out on top, yeah. yeah. 
So you have the addition of the newer turbos, plus we have a stroker motor in the car. Okay. And that just makes for a really good combination for usable power on the street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> incredibly planted. Yeah, that's just fantastic. Yeah. Did you ever, I guess, ever plan on having an Alpha 10? Uh, this is my, actually, this is my second GTR. Um, the first GTR I had was just an Alpha 7. Uh -huh. I knew that I wanted to upgrade, but I wasn't really keen on, you know, dropping the cash for it. Yeah. I got really lucky with this because this one hadn't already been done, so I kind of had the savings, you know, mm -hmm. from getting one already done. So I got lucky in that sense because this is pretty much the exact setup that I wanted on my old GTR. Yeah. I floor it. <laughs> Compared to your uh, Super Leggero Lamborghini you had, yeah. do you like that? Do you like this better? Or? Um, you know, I get that question a lot. These, the, the, honestly, the cars are both like different animals. The Super mm -hmm. Leggero was a beast on the track. It wasn't really fast in the straightaways. Yeah. It's just a beast on the track, and that's where it really shined. This car, and for this car, on the other hand, is a beast straight line. I haven't had a chance to take it on the track yet, but yeah. I guess honest, haven't. Honestly, I just it's hard for me to decide which one I like best. I love all cars, especially all badass cars, and yeah. I don't know. I just love them all. The wing is uh, Era Motions. It's their S two S one version. Uh huh. It's that active arrow, so it actually moves up and down. Okay. When you, um, you know, when you have when the car senses G force, so it'll mm -hmm. move. You know, when there's braking, when there's acceleration. Yeah. And there's actually like a control box in the trunk where that you can actually control the sensitivity and everything. It's pretty cool. So what does this thing make for uh, power? I guess you know you have the option to do racing. Yeah. Right? So before I took delivery of the car, the car actually was tuned on 93, and unfortunately we don't have 93 octane out here uh -huh. readily available, so I had to just do a retune on the 91. Yeah. And like they had the car um, dynoed did the tune and everything, and I put down 850 to the wheels on that so what, what, so what, with drivetrain loss, that's 1,000? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then uh, they, they sent me the dyno sheet for that, and then they sent me the dyno sheet for the race gas, and on the race gas, it made 1207 to the wheels. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to follow Alec on Instagram. We have, we'll have it in the bio, and we'll have it come across the screen, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Um,